I'm being faced with a situation um, where I'm doing my best to just be in a loving space. And what I'm, the illusion is that there's a wall of, of this. Um, and uh, there's conflict. What is the wall and what is the conflict? Um, this person is a client and I've given a lot of love from the beginning. There's a soul contract. And um, midway she has um, said, no, I don't want to work with you anymore. And uh, has started seeing me as the enemy. You know, sweetie, so you have not heard these teachings, you know, one time before this retreat. So I'm going to share something with you that most have heard over and over again, but you can never hear it too often. If the turning is inside as opposed to outside, what is discovered is that nothing new ever happens inside. There are these fundamental conflicts which create the shell of what is called the ego, what creates the experience of being separate that happens very early on. And no matter how this conditioned mind tries to prevent these experiences from returning, they always return. So if you forego the current circumstance and you just experience the feeling of the internal conflict, what you will recognize is this is not the first time that that feeling has existed inside of you. So are you following me so far? Now out of the kindness of the way all of this is set up, you cannot be free, you cannot know God unless you know yourself. You cannot know yourself unless you fully meet the pieces that created the experience of being separate. And these are these conflicts that repeat themselves. They repeat them themselves not to hurt you, but when you are ready to meet what has not been met before. And that occurs by this one-pointedness to forego the ego's habit of always externalizing, which is the way of keeping the attention away from where the conflict lives, which is inside. The outside is just the reflection of the inside. So it is keeping the attention inside, holding this loving space inside, foregoing the mind's judgments and just being with the process internally without looking for an outcome, just being with it. Eventually the fear begins to lift and there is connection with what is completely present. What is completely present is clear mind. When clear mind lays witness to what created so much pain, the reality is revealed. And when it is revealed, it melts away because what feels so personal is revealed to be completely impersonal. It is just the imprint of karma you came here to unravel and it cannot be unraveled if it doesn't come up. And it comes up as the doorway to meet yourself. When you learn to meet yourself layer by layer, all of these walls begin to melt away. And when that occurs, it becomes impossible to separate inside from outside. The reflection, instead of being the reflection that created the conditioning, it becomes the reflection of pure love. So the doorway lies inside yourself. It is not about changing anything. It is about receiving yourself. It is all equally grace. What is called this other person, it is a pawn in your karmic play. 
there is only one Shakti. It is perfectly running through an imprint that created the experience of separation for the possibility of carrying you home. 